this video is just a shit show. Where was I? Again. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph and I'm just an ordinary plant girl. Uh, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for being here. Uh, today, it seems like it's been a really long time since I've done an unboxing uh, because I did the two, the houseplant tour in two parts and then I did my witch's witch. And luckily today, I have plant mail. Um, so this, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, this again is coming from Liam, and even though I have uh, an issue with their plants um, coming in too moist, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, I seem to keep ordering from them, which is fine. Uh, my Anthurium pedatum, though, I'm going to be crying a little. <coughs> Um, my Anthurium pedatum is not doing all that well. Um, I think it stayed wet a little too long and that was on my end. Uh, when I put it in soil, I don't think it was well draining enough. It is my very first Anthurium, so I'm learning with it. I don't know if it's going to make it um, because it is, it's, it's a seedling. Um, anyway, that is a story for another day. Uh, where was I going with this? Yes, I continue to order from Riam uh, because two of the three plants that I have gotten from them are at this point doing well so far. So. Let's get into this one. Um, so the plant that I have in here, ow, uh, the plant that I have in here is something I had never heard of before, um, which seems to be a typical me thing to do. If I haven't heard of it, I'm more than likely gonna get it. Uh, I actually have another plant coming as well that I have never heard of before. Um, and if you have learned anything about me yet, it is that I love philodendrons. I pretty much love all aeroids. Doesn't mean I can take care of them all, but I do love all aeroids. And uh, when I see a philodendron that I have never seen before, and I do my research, and I find that I like the growth pattern, or the way the leaves look, or anything like that, I'm shaking my desk. I'm, if the price is right, I'm pretty much determined to buy it. So, oh, finally I got into the box. All right, so this one, I'm actually wondering because if I can actually get it out of the box here. See, this is the only thing, they taped it in the box this time. Uh, now, this is the only thing that bothers me so much is, I don't know if you can see, see the condensation? Mm, dog's gonna bark. Again, um, the moss is so wet. Sorry, this is loud. Okay, so here's the, I apparently do not have a pair of scissors either with me right here. Let's grab my trusty knif. Um, when I saw this plant on the website, uh, I kind of wonder if any of you saw that unboxing where I got the Anthurium pedatum and the No ID Philodendron. Maybe you'll know what I'm talking about here. Okay, so, it's so wet. It 
it's just so wet. Like, can you see that? Yeah, you can see all the what it's so wet. So this is a ooh, philodendron melanonii. So I'll insert a picture of what it looks like when it matures. But my thing is, um, I don't know if I should go get it. I'm gonna go get it, give me one second. If any of you saw that unboxing of my philodendron no ID, which I have here, I did go and get it. Um, it's a little bit of an update with this one. Um, so here is my philodendron no ID. Um, which this growth point was pretty much non-existent when I got it like a month ago and it has started to get bigger. So anyway, this is growing. This is my philodendron no ID. If you look at the texture and the pattern on the leaves, I don't know if you can tell at all, but they're kind of, they're kind of ribbed a little. So this is the philodendron melanonii. Oh, you know what? I can tell right now, I can tell right now that they're different. Um, but I was going to say that the pattern on the leaves, it's so wet, the pattern on the leaves is really similar to the no ID. The difference though with this one that I can see that is not on the no ID is that the backs are blushed. So the back of this is blushed but the back of the no ID is just straight up green. I was possibly thinking that I had maybe been close to figuring out what the no ID was. I am definitely gonna have to wait until it matures and I'm so excited. Um, I love plants that are a complete mystery. Um, and this one, once I transplant it into something less wet I, it just it bothers me so much and I know that I've ordered from them of course I know that I've ordered from them um this is my third order and this keeps happening I mean Am I at a point now where I can say, hey, you know, because they're coming FedEx, so they're coming next day, the moss does not need to be this wet. Um, but am I at a point now where I can actually say, hey, uh, I've been ordering from you guys and every time I get something, it comes with a little bit of root rot because your moss is soaking wet. Um, am I at a point where I can say that? I'm just trying to pull some of it away. Uh, I, they, they must be grown in moss, like rooted in moss. actually has a lot of roots going on. But yeah, am I at that point in my relationship with this company to do that? I don't know. Okay, this is... We'll probably speed up this part of the video. Because, okay, there are lots of roots here. I'm trying to be so careful right now. Slowly making progress. Emphasis on the slowly. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see a little stir. 
Giant green root. Okay, I think. Nope. Holy crap. Okay. So. I don't want to pull too much more of this off because I'm getting into like this here. It's got moss attached to it, but I mean, that's probably one of the thickest roots on this plant, but they do all look healthy. They all look very healthy so far, which I will have to say is a first from here. Okay. I am going to squeeze out as much of this moss as possible. Um, yeah, okay, I don't wanna dig too much further there. Um, So when it actually comes to potting this up, uh, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, some of this moss is gonna stick around, that's for sure. But yeah, oh, there's so many healthy roots here. Please tell me I did not just tear one off. Okay, good. So many. Okay, so that's pretty much. You can see roots all over the place, so that's awesome. Um, okay, so this one is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Uh, We'll see how well it acclimates. Oh, it actually has two, does it have two heads on it? Or is it just one? Oh, well. Two heads, okay, so I've actually got two growth points, maybe? It's possible, we'll see. Okay guys, um, that is it for me and this quick little unboxing. Um, it showed up at first thing this morning, but I was working so I couldn't uh, open it. So I was just racing to get to lunch so that I could do this. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to acclimate it. I'm going to squeeze out this moss, which is just soaking wet. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, guys. I just quickly had to run out to the mailbox because I found out that this package was there. Um, I don't know if it was there since yesterday because normally our mail gets here in the afternoon, but I got a delivery notification at like 8.30 this morning. Um, so I ran out to the mailbox to pick this up. I was going to do something a little bit more structured, but I think that I'm just going to add this to my other unboxing that I filmed yesterday um, but okay I'm just going to get into this box and show you what it is um, it's actually much smaller than I thought it was gonna be like I mean the box is tiny um, I got this off of an Etsy seller um, infinite greens I believe it was and this is a philodendron that I've never heard of before um, and I wanted to share this with you. Okay, this is really hard to do with one hand, but so far, um, this is called a Philodendron Durens, I believe it is. I will double check the name 
and uh, put it on the screen. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so from what I saw, this is another self-heading philodendron. Um, but yeah, a philodendron durens. I didn't know from the picture that it had this red blush on the back, and I love that. Um, even in the picture when I bought it, I could see that a couple of the leaves were yellowing, but I mean, that was fine. Um, it looks pretty steadfast and hardy, though. It feels kind of thick. The leaves feel thicker. Um, it's cute. I'm going to have to check the roots, though. Took me a sec to get that um, cling wrap off, but this is the first time I've ever seen damp tissue paper used to wrap up a plant. I find that interesting. Okay, so here we go. Um, the roots look pretty good. Um, I don't see any rot or anything, and it was obviously propagated in sphagnum moss. Um, they tried to get off as much of the moss as possible, but that's okay. So I think that I am going to... I will probably pot this up right away um, and put it into soil because I kind of do that with bare rooted plants unless they need to be rehabbed. And uh, I will be back to show you the end result of that. But yeah, it is a philodendron durens. Again, I'm not exactly sure. I only have one hand, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And yeah, there she be.